Welcome back to uh, where where are we? Where <laughs> this is Ark uh, Eternal Olympus, right? So look, guys, I've got so much going on right now. I want to um, like I'm making foundations and all kinds of things. Uh, I want to make a big big base, but I don't don't want to do it here. This area is not not I don't know. I'll, I'll find a place. I, I want to be on the beach. Um, but I'll find a place that's a little flatter and bigger and maybe, I don't know, uh, I, I, well, I'll, f I'll figure it out. But um, for the meantime, I'm just making up all kinds of stuff, you know, ceilings and ramps and, and all kinds of things. I got a bunch of stuff queued up, but I don't have the, I don't have enough resources. So we need to go get some stuff, some like stone and wood and thatch. Uh, in addition to like whatever metal and we'll get some silica pearls and so we need all the stuff right um, I think you know what the silica pearls I don't need really so much because we've got the beetle and it will produce electronics which is what I'm primarily using the pearls for so I think what we will do is well, let's do some exploration we're gonna head out um, someplace and like if we tame something along the way great if we don't we don't uh, if I see something interesting like we got a little bit of lag going on here I think we've still got spawns spawning in but yeah I think I'll just um you know wherever we go whatever we do I'll just be gathering a bunch of uh, materials along the way so but there's so many interesting creatures in Eternal, like this, this robot uh, Stego right there. I don't know. Do we want to get one of those? I don't know. You know, oh, oh, what I saw was um, it, it's like a glass, what was it, a spectral Rex. I saw one. I tried to trank it out a little bit, but its torpor dropped so fast every time I let off. To just check what its torpor level was it would just immediately start dropping but its hit points weren't going up at the same rate that its torpor was going down so any pause like as i i try to get myself positioned better or it would move and whatever anytime there was a break in the torporing the uh torpor would just drop like crazy but the hit points wouldn't go up so i ended up like in the end it was, I had it about halfway torpored out, and then the damn thing, it was just like so close to dead that I couldn't continue. There was no way I was going to be able to finish torporing it, not with this thing. So I'm thinking we need to probably start focusing a little bit more on, um, here, let's do this. We need to focus a little bit on, um, I want to get... I want to get okay crap this thing's kind of tough with this um, a I want to do a long neck and some um, darts use darts uh, we can probably also rely on the arrows maybe but I'm thinking that might be the way to go like start maybe with the darts and then work on perhaps getting uh, this is not the way to do this I don't think but I'm just going to kill the damn things. Um, yeah, the uh, the darts with the long neck would probably be our best bet for something that is, like, made of glass. You know? No no pun intended. Um, and that way, we do almost no damage to it at all, but high torpor. And then, once it's really well and good torpored, then bring in this tappy or something, you know, that can put a lot more torpor on it really fast um, and then we don't have to worry so much about the damage amount that it does so I don't know that's that's kind of my mindset on it because uh, it's clear to me that I can't torpor out everything with this I just I can't find that that glass Rex right now though but this map look how cool there's so much interesting stuff uh, like you know, structures, built structures, and things like that, that, you know, the the gods were busy on this, on this Olympus, and then they've departed and left behind all these strange creatures.
including me. I'm, I'm one of those strange creatures. In fact, I'm the strangest. I, I'm the unique one on this whole place. But, oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, another thing I want to get is I want to do turrets. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll move base first and then put up turrets. Uh, but I'm going to start making ammo for the turrets. And that's why uh, we're burning wood in the fireplace. And, and so, so, yeah, I'm going to start making bullets like crazy. Um, we'll have to do lots of spark powder and things like that. So, I mean, I haven't started doing any collecting yet. I'm just kind of looking around see what we can what is this what is that it's that thing right there oh 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 this is one of those little light horse guys what the hell wait here, let's take a look at it a feed major berry to take oh look we just, we got a shine horn. <laughs> Neat. All right. Oh, one thing we can do now, so I don't have to carry these things, is I'll just do like this. This is great. Okay, we'll tell them not to follow us. And then I'm going to do this. And we're just going to send it back to our base. And then we get out of the area. And our little shine horn is going to just teleport back. Great. <laughs> All right. Well, that was easy and quick. But yeah, that's what I'll do. As if we find stuff out here, so unless I want to have, uh, you know, de oh look, there's another tappy right there. Now that, yeah, that's just a regular one. That's a vanilla one, because I think all of these eternal ones, if I'm not mistaken, they attack on sight. I haven't really run into many of them, just like this one, frankly, um, and it really didn't have a chance to attack me per se. So, but I think it intended to. It didn't seem to be flying away. So, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, these guys, you get too close to them and they will attack you because they actually have a significant attack. All right, but, yeah, I'm not really seeing anything out here. But I'm also not seeing anything dangerous out here. So this might be a good opportunity to go ahead and get some wood that we need. Because these trees... Okay, I can't get any wood out of that tree, but like some of these trees I can. Yeah, the littler ones. What what's attacking? Stop that, micro raptor. Okay, and another one. Good lord, those things. Get here. Okay, I'm I'm dizzy. I'm a little bit dizzy here. Come on, let's let's hit it. Let me hit it. There we go. Look how fast we just kill them. Oh, yeah. Okay. Bring that tree down and get so much thatch and wood out of it. All right, but these trees are not all good for that. Let's let's keep looking around. I like exploring this place. This is There's so much on this map that I haven't seen yet. And so I'm really excited to just get out and do a bunch of exploration. Maybe we'll... Okay, this looks really tame. Let's do this so that we... Let's just pick this guy up. And then we'll just run around and do a bunch of quick gathering here. Yeah, because it's just one one strike per, and look how much I get. Yeah, so we'll get a ton of stone and wood and flint and all the stuff, thatch, and basically everything I need to build a massive base, we're going to gather. And I, I'm just going to stick with doing it out of stone. I like the look. It's super easy. Um... I don't really, uh, if we got those dodo rexes and, and super powered rexes and things like that, I, I'm not going to worry about anything like coming in and destroying my base. It'll be well defended from that standpoint. And of course, I'm going to make turrets and put those up and that's going to help defend us as well. So let's just see, go as much as we can on this before I get encumbered and then We'll probably dump some of the stuff onto the tappy because it's got better carry capacity than I do. And then I can get a little bit more. But, yeah, this is... I don't even see any uh, Eternals out here in this section. So it's not not really dangerous at all. Oh, we've got a... An now, it, you know, I, I've mentioned because of these tools, I don't really need 
Ankies and Dodex and, you know, the utility dinos, not for collection. But that isn't to say that they don't have usage. They certainly do. Uh, you can do stuff in their inventories, and I believe the Eternal Ankies uh, function is like a super forge. They're very, very fast. Uh, now, sometimes I confuse Pugnacia dinos with the Eternal dinos, because in some respects they're very similar, but in other respects they're very different. So I don't want to... I'd rather just tame one up and see what's over there. It's one of those weird critters. Um... All right, let's get our let's get our guy out here, and let's we'll go over here and kill that thing. Well, I could probably kill it um, by hand, but why? Why would I try that? Oh, I don't know. I mean, this would be pretty tough to kill by hand. I think. There we go. Prime crack crackinos. I got plenty of meat. He, that thing didn't seem to want to eat anything, but it just killed it all. Okay, what is in it? Look at this. What's this shark doing in this little pond? Oh, there's an inlet. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff in there. Okay, well, we're not going to go swimming. Oh, there's a... There's a quetz. Have I, I don't recall even seeing any quetzes uh, here before. Um, what what level is this quetz? It's just an 80. Well, I'm going to keep an eye out. If I see a quetz, I will go ahead and tame it up. But, um, yeah, I would have to probably just use a, uh, a bow. Oh, see, here's another one. If it's a decent level one, I'll go ahead and tame it up. Just for building purposes. They're really great for, you know, it, it wouldn't be anything for... Um... Well, that's not bad. A 200... Let's see if we can just bring it down with, say, this bow. Uh, well, we hit it once. And there it goes. There it goes down. Great. All right, well, we'll get this Quetzal. And it landed in a very nice, safe area, too. Okay, so the beauty of this is now we've got taming potions. Oh, look, and crystal. We've got the taming, but this shouldn't have taken any damage, really, right? Yeah, no damage whatsoever from that arrow. So let's smack a taming potion on there, like so. And that makes it super hungry. And then we might as well use some of this mutton. And the prime. Let's see, how is it doing on that? I can't get its little box. Oh, well, it already ate all the mutton. There we go. Give me that mutton back. You can okay, cancel that. Give me that mutton. No, no, no. We'll give it some regular meat. And you just stop following me. And we will, um, you know what? Do I want to send this back to base like this? Not really. I want it to be passive. Yeah. Behavior. We'll set it to passive. This will be nice. Um, obviously, I'll have to make a saddle for it, but it'll be a nice little addition. The two ninety nine, um, it's not going to have the kind of stats that uh, you know that an eternal was. But I, I don't, I don't recall seeing any eternal quetzes and stuff. So, but it's passive now. Let's go ahead and um, is it following me? I don't think so. Let's grab a little bit of meat off of here. And, you know what, take this stuff. How much weight can you carry? Well, let's improve your weight. There, he can carry some of this stuff back with him. And then we're just going to move you. Oh, no, 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 not, not that far out of the way. Just, there we go. And now, we can just zip this guy back over to our base. Great. <laughs> so, this is kind of afterthought. Uh, you know, it's just the, uh, crime of opportunity, guys. I'm not really out here specifically to tame stuff, but if it happens, it happens, right? 
you know, and I needed, I wanted a Quetzal for, for building stuff anyway, so, um, that was just a nice little thing to get, and I honestly, I don't care so much about the level, uh, just as long as it, you know, like, as it levels up, it should get decent carry capacity, and I don't really need speed on it, because, again, it's just going to be for building, um, so I can stand up on it and, and do stuff like that, so I don't want it fast, you know, it's harder to position if they're fast. So, yeah, we'll just cruise around. But now we don't have to worry about a Quetzal. Um, we got the little light guy for whatever that's worth. Just looking around for other stuff. I could check. Uh, I've got a list, um, you know, one of the Steam posts. Uh, I've got a list of all the various um, caves, and there are a few more that I need to check out, but... I haven't haven't gone for that, um, you know, because we I I don't think we have a need to get all of the different artifacts, you know. It's just basically the uh, for the stuff that we're doing, um, you need a generic artifact. So you know, having access to one or two or three uh, different artifacts caves is generally all you need. You know, it's that pretty much covers it all. So. But I do want to, I do definitely want to find more of the caves and go exploring in them. Um, but I was thinking we'd get better armor. But at this point, I've got, I've got a really good set. Like, I've got a complete set now of this um, eternal immortal stuff from the boss kills. So, at this point, it's just a matter of, you know, getting better and better uh, stats on on the armor, you know, as we kill more of those bosses, so, but, yeah, I'm just, we're just doing the gathering thing here today, see how much we can go home with, and let's go look for more interesting dinosaurs while we've still got some daylight, and so, okay, it looks like we got a snow biome out here, I also want to get a mammoth, um, I would like to see how the mammoth does on both wood collection and um, berry gathering and stuff. Because although I can do all that stuff myself with the tools, I kind of like to be able to ride a dino. So let's take a look at some of the levels on some of these guys. See what we got going. Oh, that's a 560. All right. Well, maybe we can... Are you going to be able to kill this... Here, let's let's help it out if we can. Knock it back to us. There. There we go. No, 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 no. We don't want that. Don't, don't hit me. Yeah, no, then we'll just take our bow. And we'll do like so. Oh, and it's down. Just a couple shots and it's down. And hopefully... It won't be too badly damaged. I don't think it is. Let's see, can we see its box? Where's its box? We got back one of our metal arrows. That's nice. Um, damn it, why can't I see the freaking box on this thing? There it is. There it is. Uh, hardly no damage on it whatsoever. Great, it's unconscious. Let's go ahead and give it a taming potion. Oh, man, I don't have any of those berries. Um, you know what? Let's leave this for a moment. Do I have a... Crap, I don't have one of the sickles on me. I put those all away. Oh, well, so be it. I don't really care about this thing's level. I was just thinking we'd use that herbivore taming. Oh, no, no, that stuff's for eternal herbivores anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, well, let's just put these berries on there and use that all right, so this thing should tame up really fast, right? Wait, why? Did I not put berries in there? I did. Why isn't it eating the berries? Put wild female. Oh, there it's taming now. That's weird. Okay, let's make sure we keep keep it safe from like that RG right there. Yeah, you you don't know, need to be there. Okay. All right, so while this is yeah, let's pick this guy up. So while this is taming up, we'll go ahead and get, gather some more stuff. Yeah, 
we should have plenty of flint and thatch now, so let's switch back. Man, I, I need to keep one of those sickles on me for just hitting the plants here and there. But I'm not going to need much in the way of, like, um, fiber. It's just those weird berries and things uh, would be nice to be able to get some of those um, if the need arises. But out here, it looks all, looks all vanilla. You know, all these critters out here look vanilla. Okay, you? Yeah. Oh, okay, we're dealing with a pack of dire wolves. But look how... Huh, I can just kick their butt. I'm not really taking damage from these things. Because my armor is just too good. <laughs> I don't really need the crystal, but it's fine. We'll just get it. And we're growing our own rare mushrooms in the shrines as well. And the, the uh, uh, rare flowers and all that. So, yeah. But we will have a lot of resources here. And when that, when that mammoth's ready... We can pile a bunch of wood on it and send it back. <laughs> okay, now I'm encumbered. Okay, where is this arts? No, that's just another one. Where's arts? Is it up? Looks like it's up. No, it looks like it's still down. Okay, well, it's halfway there. And it's still eating. Alright, let's just start piling wood on it. And, uh... Yeah, 1270. Yeah, we can just keep putting the wood on there. Alright, well, that's fine. I don't think I want to get a Megaloceros, they... Not a vanilla one. If there's... If we could find a... An Eternal version, I'd probably... You know, I, I'd tame pretty much any of the Eternals, frankly. I don't really care. Um, I want... I kind of would like to have... A, uh, you know, a mating pair of every... Eternal Dino, frankly. But I'm not in a huge rush to do that either uh, my my thing now is I want to just have a really 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 big base uh, I you know maybe not really really big but uh, just big enough to accommodate a good number of critters in a better area and have better crafting area and thing like that you know it's like I want room for all the stuff so yeah I think I will take a couple days uh, fabricating up a bunch of stuff. Let's kill this. That was easy. And then... And it'll give a lot of time for the metal to cook. And... Um, you know, we'll have a lot of dino eggs and things like that. I'll probably get a bunch more of the dodos. Uh, just to get a lot, lots more eggs. Okay, yeah, we got... We get troubles over there, but I think probably that that guy like I could berry tame this, but why? Why indeed? Let's just gather some of this stuff. Let's see what we get. Yeah, just standard stuff. But look how we've cleared. We've pretty much cleared the whole land. Oh, there's our there's our mammoth. All right, so. Let's see here. 751, that is fine. And can we give it weight? Yes, yes. Oh, this is good. Let's give it some hit points too. And yeah, let's go ahead and regen those hit points up. And we want to give it some movement speed. But with that weight now, I can pile a bunch more of this stuff on it. Like so. Okay, and you know what? You can have these berries. You know, you can have all these. Oh, take all this stuff. Just take all this stuff. Alright, yeah. I just really can't move, but that's fine. Um, and let's go ahead and send it back.
Great. What happened here? I don't know. All right. Well, that that's working for us. We're getting all the stuff, and um, I'm not even encumbered. What am I doing? Put that away. Press this, and then there we go. Okay. Cool. Well, we can get more wood and stone and all that stuff. Uh, we've got a mammoth. We've got a quetzal. We've got a little light horsey thingy. And what else? I think that's that's all we've picked up today. Which is really... <laughs> this is great. I, mean, I don't really need the stuff, but I do, kind of. Um, there's some gigantos. Not a fan. You you get to go away. But yeah, we can just uh, I guess this this whole area out here looks all vanilla. Let's check up by the obby here. Oh, look, there's another Quetzal. wonder what level that one is. A uh, 520? Okay, well, let's do it. Why wouldn't we? The question is, is it going to just fall with that one arrow? Or... No. Okay. Let's do it again. And it's down. Let's hope it doesn't get eaten. Where are you going? All the way down? Okay. Where 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 is it? There it is. Alright, let's land right here. I'll pick this up. And all right, you can have half of those, half of those, and this taming potion. I have to get more taming potions. But yeah, okay, we're going to get a really really nice quest. So I was I was pleased with the one we got at first, but this one is even better. So yeah, and it will 99.9% .9 effectiveness. That is certainly sufficient. Yeah, so I think what we'll do is I'll go ahead and suicide the lower level quets when we get back. I don't need two of them. And we won't have room for that anyway. So let's just tell it to do this and you can be passive and um, I'm thinking you know do I have other stuff to pile on it not not so much really Let's put a little bit and give them some of that meat we'll take this back and uh, yeah so that's fine we'll go ahead and send this thing back Like so, and if I can get out of range, boom, there we've got our Quetzal. <laughs> so, I like this so much. The awesome teleporters just makes everything so much easier, guys. But now, we've got what lots of weight to work with here. You bad kitty. Yeah, so we'll have so much stone and wood and everything. What? Okay. All right. We got a pack of wolves around here somewhere. Oh, look. Metal. Okay. You coming? Here, come here. Take this. Yeah, that didn't work out for you, did it? More? Here, more. More wolves. Oh, 
Ah, oh, finally! Some, ah, oh, some, uh, what is this stuff? Obsidian. Yeah, I hadn't really been finding obsidian. Oh, look, a cave. Well, let's, oh, maybe it's not a cave. Well, it's underneath the, uh, this is where the obelisk is. And is this a cave? It, no, it just seems to be a pathway underneath it. Neat, though. What do we have over here? Some wolves or something? I, like, I'm now, I'm not afraid of any of this stuff at all. Yeah, you guys just howl all you want. You call your friends in, and it's just not going to work for you, I'm afraid. Because they can't really hurt me. I mean, look at my hit points. Haven't My little health bar has not even budged. What do we have in here? These are just garbage stuff, right? You know, I could take some of the berries, but I don't really care. It's not like we can't... What, what's happening here? That, yeah, that, that cat uh, messing with that rhino, not a wise plan for the cat. All right, let's get all this stuff. Let's see here. What, what else can we get? So it just looks like standard stone and stuff. Uh, I was hoping we'd find more of the obsidian or metal or something, but... Well, it's fine, though. I mean, I need the stone and the flint and uh, all the stuff. So I'm thinking maybe I'll set up just a crap ton of campfires and burn wood like like it's no tomorrow so I can have enough gunpowder. Or, or we get more of the harbinger beetles. Yeah, I think I will do that. We'll get a bunch of harbingers. Um, because... Well, do, do any produce gunpowder? I don't think so. I can't remember now. But they all produce resources of one type or another. Okay, you gonna come at me? Come here. Yeah, did, you don't like that, do you? There we go. See, I don't even have to switch to my weapon. I just use this hatchet. All right, but I think... I think once we get encumbered again here with this stuff. I'm just going to head back. In fact, it's starting to get dark. Well, we should probably just head back now. And I think it would be a good time. Like, oh, throughout the night, I'll go ahead and make saddles for uh, the mammoth and the quetzal and do all that stuff. But uh, for now, I think this is enough gathering. We've done a good job. Maybe we'll get a little bit more thatch. But, yeah, I've got so much stuff right now. It's time to go. So, um, yeah, let's just do this. Uh, I'll be heading back, but you guys don't need to wait for me to do that. Let's just do this. And now we can see a little bit. And I will just say thank you so much for joining. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. It was kind of a fun little adventure. Just going out. and We got some good tames. Um, I'll be it just vanilla guys, but yeah, if you enjoyed it, smash that like button. Leave me any comments, tips, tricks, recommendations, or death threats. Subscribe, share, and favorite, and we will talk with all of you again very, very soon.